guys. So, remember when I told you this Bumblebee figure was the best in the world? Well, guess what? Bye bye. It's garbage. Guys, Dylan here. Welcome back to another video, and today we're reviewing the Gundam Zero Zero Driver. Down my face, we're reviewing Bumblebee instead. What you mean? Gundam versus my B? Alright, so let's review this. Now, if you guys know, there's a store called Image Anime. I went there and I bought two of them, so don't worry. This thing is coming soon. But we're not focusing on him. We're focusing on this Bumblebee. So let's get started. Warhammer Bumblebee. So it comes with the hammer and the gun. So it's... Wait, is that... Sorry, I uh, <laughs> freaked out a little bit there. So let's get started, huh? First, let's open this. Just gonna fuck this box. There you go. Now we just unflap this and pull out. <sighs> oh god, that sounded wrong. And here are the directions. We're not looking at the directions, we're looking at the gun. That's right, people, we're gonna look at the gun. Ha! You thought it actually looked good. Alright then. Next, we're going to uh, open the directions. Hopefully, it's not all in, you know, Japanese, but we're gonna find out. I mean, Tokyo, Japanese. Like, Jesus. Hope I'm not ending up to be a little. And it's not, and it has pictures, thank you, God. Some of them do not come with pictures. So. There you go. We're not looking at those. We're looking at this. Bumblebee, oh my God. It comes with a thingamajigga. I don't know what the fuck this is. Okay, so this looks awesome. The box looks good. So now let's just get this figure out of here and we'll get started. Cue the music. Cue the... Oh, God. Cue the music. Okay, then. And here is B in his car mode and Okay. You guys ready? We're just gonna use this hammer to break this toy no, I'm playing, I'm playing. No, we will never do that. Even with a fake hammer, we will never do that. Cause I can already tell this figure's boss. Now even though the kibble is like, you know, right here, and yes, I use kibble for like if you watch Jabby Dong videos, I like his videos, you know, so Pretty cool I die. He's a spirit, you know? Because of him, I learned how to swivel. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. I like to start my things out of the car mode now. So if you guys don't like that, then don't watch it. Now I'm playing. I am playing, guys. I am playing. Now let's look at the accessory, yeah? It's a accessory. 
Now, he has a hammer. Now, if you guys are familiar with Transformers Prime, which I sadly watched because it was the only Transformers show we had back in those days instead of watching the original. Oh, God. It was so... It was awesome. Anyway, so this hammer is supposed to represent the... Crap! I don't remember the name of the hammer, but it, it represents it. It's also the hammer Ultra Magnus used against that Predacon, Predaking, and... Stuff. One day, they're going to make a movie, and they're going to add it. Now, I know a lot of you guys are hating Michael Bay because of, you know, the movie. And honestly, I hate him too. Last night, I'm going to be honest, I did not like that movie whatsoever. It was so bad, dude. It was so bad. But I do like his other movies. Like Transformers, Transformers Fallen, Transformers Dark of the Moon, Age of Distinction. Those movies, I liked because... If it wasn't for those movies, I wouldn't be reviewing a goddamn transforming toy. I wouldn't be here putting things on my shelf. I wouldn't be here buying freaking model kits. I wouldn't be here looking at this. Uh, it's a background thing. It's pretty cool. It doesn't have really anything. It just has a picture of Optimus Prime before the night crap and Bumblebee before the night crap. And they also have the dark of the moon you can see shockwave and you can also see optimus prime age distinctions right there you can also see optimus prime and grimlock so yeah and that's really it you don't see anything else you don't see age distinction and i'm glad because those are the only movies that were good <clears throat> anyway so the car mode it's nice i mean you're never gonna look behind here unless you're making a stop motion so unless you put it down like this it's really really flat you know it's Comparison, we have the last night, um, uh, uh, last night, um, uh, Optimus Prime, and I hate this figure. The only reason why is because of his sword. His sword is so freaking tiny. I don't like that. I want my Optimus Prime with a big sword. Did you, did you get the joke yet? Hmm? Did you get the joke yet? Okay, that was a bad joke. I understand. And also have Combiner Wars Hot Rod because I couldn't afford the um, movie Hot Rod, and I do not do not like the movie Hot Rod. For minor things, I can show up Grimlock and the others, but I can't because I'm doing this. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause. I'm gonna untransform this thing, and we're gonna see what it looks like. Yeah. Okay. So I did say. Hold up. I'm sorry. I had to do some stuff. I did say that I was going to transform this thing but i'm i i'm just i got lazy so let's compare this guy with i forgot his name put the description down below if you <coughs> oh, know his name so here they are together uh, uh, uh. man here's a mega trying it's not the it's not the movie megatron but it's something it's something. Okay. Now, we'll transform this guy. Okay. I'm back. And this is Bumblebee. And honestly... It's so awesome. <laughs> but, in all honest, but in all honesty, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now... This time, this bumblebee actually has a ball joint. Yeah. See, it can turn its head. See? Watch this. See that? See that, Hasbro? What do you have, Hasbro? Huh? Do you, can you move your head? No, because you're going to almost break. Look, look. You can just look up. You can't even look at high. Look at this bumblebee. Look at this bumblebee. Oh, it can look high and it can transform at a perfectly good rate and looks like the movie. What can you do? Turn my face. It also comes with some accessory. Uh, we already see this. So first, let's start with that. <coughs> Just ignore that, people. So let's start with the hammer. I have no idea how to bring this in, so I think I have to squeeze it down the Oh yeah, that's a that's a good big boy. <laughs> so here's this hammer. Uh looks pretty nice. It uh it looks nice with the hammer. Um he also comes with his gun, like you know, his transforming gun, which I oh my god did I lose that piece already. 
No, 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 no! I'm gonna have to call y'all back. I'm gonna. Ugh. What the fuck? <laughs> I just burp. And here's the gun. Looks nice. The only problem is I have no idea how to get this thing in the, um, thing. So, apparently, <coughs> so if I zoom in right here, you see that piece right there? The piece that's connected right here? I'm supposed to pop that part out and place it with this part, which is black. So, let's see here. Just gotta keep pushing forward. Just a little bit more. Oh, there you go. It slipped out really easily, too. So now all we gotta do is slip this part in. So let me just pull this over and bend this in just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Push it in just a little bit. There we go. And plugged it in, and here he is with his gun. Now, honestly, with his gun, I feel like it takes away some of the detail of his armor. Because you can see that the color of his yellow is a little bit uh, orange than this. But, otherwise, it doesn't matter. It's Bumblebee. So now, since we got that out of the way, let's start with its articulation. So, let's start with the legs. First, we're going to raise the... Let's, no, let's start with the arms. It can go up this far, down that far. It has a hinge, so it can go down even harder. You can move the arm like any other Transformer. It's a little tight. You got a little bend. No individual fingers. Same with... Oop, nah, just right, backed up. Same with this arm. You can move up and down. No individual fingers. The gun is the same way, but the only difference is it can just move up. Now let's start. Now we can start with the foot. <clears throat> eh, it's a no case bread. Um, the feet can go up and down, and sadly, even the oh, <gasps> oh, I don't know if you can call that a pivot, but I think I like to call that the the, the backward pivot. It can also do the, it can also do that on this leg. You can also um, <clears throat> um, you can also do this. You can down and up. A really solid figure, especially for buying it from a store. Because usually when you buy some um, SH Arts or other gun things from stores, they're pretty bad. But this figure is awesome. Great. Great. Took your, great. It's a great figure. Honestly, I like this figure. You know, it has a gun. It has a hammer. You know, and it doesn't have this bull crap. Alright, with his back just leaving back like this and these... Part forming pieces of crap when you gotta flip this over, turn this around, and oh look he has a gun, but no, you, you can still see this. You can barely move up. It it does it. You can't you can't do this. You, you can't do. Beautiful spread. I mean, there's no pivot. I mean, at least this one got a backwards pivot. This one got nothing. That's why I threw it in the garbage when I first began. Now, let's see how... <laughs> I'm going to stop doing that. So let's see how big this is. So first, we're going to untransform this. You guys don't want me to see this crap. So I'm going to pause it, untransform all my transformers, and just put them in detail. Okay, so I'm back. Untransformed all my transformers. So let's get started. We have this guy. I still need to find out his name. I truly, truly do. And in scale, as in oh, they fit size. And they're pretty good size. You know, they're the same size. But it's better than this figure. Way too big. Like, if you just look it together, they don't look in sync. You know, they just look like he's bigger and he's smaller. But with this figure, they focus more on the movie than, you know, the character. Like, Hasbro ever does. And you can see that Bumblebee and this guy is a good scale, you know? Let's put him over here. And next we have Hot Rod. And obviously, this is Titan, Retur Titan Return Hot Rod. And this is one of the reasons why I hated the movie. Not only did they have Hot Rod um, use some stop time thing, and I, did it ever actually did Hot Rod ever actually have that power at all, or was that just Michael Bay doing something weird? 
Also, I was expecting for Bumblebee to actually have the force to kill Optimus, and then, as his last words, as his normal self, give the a matrix of leadership to either Bumblebee or Hot Rod. I would be cool with either way, but instead they just... I also hate how they did Nemesis Prime. To take over Optimus Prime, make him ne Nemesis Prime. That's stupid. That's really stupid. Why couldn't she just, like, use Megatron and call it her Nemesis Prime? Or just, like, make another Transformer that's exactly like Optimus Prime and call him Nemes Nemesis Prime? But nope. Might as well just take over freaking, um, Optimus. But anyway, in scale, because it's like, you know, Titan Return, this thing is bigger than that. But don't worry, I'm gonna get the movie one very soon. I'm giving these guns too. Alright, and next we have... Ugh. Titan Return Megatron. Like I said, it is not the movie Megatron, but it is better than nothing. And these guys are, and he, and Megatron is obviously bigger because it's Megatron. I'm pretty sure either way, this figure would be small. Yeah. Anyway, next we have, let's see here. Ah, here we go. We go. We have custom Unicron. Ah, okay, wrong, wrong one, wrong one. Very. Oh God, wrong one. Never mind. We have. Ne never mind. We have Nemesis Prime. And the reason why I'm calling him this is because I do not consider this a goddamn tr uh, Optimus Prime. All right. I defy you. Tiny sword, tiny shield, dull eyes, feet are stupid, especially with this thing clicked on it. And these parts. I lost these parts. I had to find them. Took me two days. So you, Nemesis Prime, you, Nemesis Prime, you do not deserve to be called Optimus Prime. You are Nemesis Prime. I would rather buy the Hasbro remake Optimus Prime, the one with his where the front of the truck is on its foot, than you. You're terrible. Overall, this figure is awesome. Not only does it keep... Oh, God. The camera's all the way down there. This figure is awesome. Not only does it keep the movie detail, but it has great articulation. And, you know, you could shoot. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a good figure. Especially since it comes with, you know, the hammer and stuff. So, I like it. And, actually, I might buy the Hot Rod version of this, if they have them. Because if they don't, then I'll just buy the Hasbro. <laughs> I have to buy the Hasbro one. But, I am going to get that Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Because, like I said, Nemesis Prime is terrible. I hate him. Anyway, so, yeah. This figure is awesome. I give it, like, I don't know, five and a half stars. The reason why I say half is because his transformation is actually, it's not complex, but it isn't he hard because the uh, directions doesn't really give you that much detail. Like these parts, I thought it was stuck at the transformation thing, but it wasn't. It was just, you know, venti. But anyway, yeah, I like this figure. It's a good figure. Glad I bought it. And don't worry, this is a real model kit, and I am going to review this thing soon. Let's see. Will, will I build it now? Or tomorrow, we might not know. Oh, he also comes with uh, with his background. So let's see what he looks like with that. You can already tell that this is terrible. Anyway, if you guys like this video, give me a like and subscribe. And if you guys um, <coughs> and if you guys really, really, really want me to get another one of these or another Transformer Best Movie Line or anything else you guys want. Make sure you hit a like and subscribe, and god dang it, Fortnite! Anyway, so, yeah, if you guys like this video, give me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bumblebee, take it away. Yeah, you can't talk with his toy. What do you, what do you expect it?